it does look like Texas. Yep, it looks like Texas. This one uh, on the road, so it's a high pitch. So the two swings we have, which we're, I, you know, we'll be able to see, they're side by side. Um, unfortunately, the frame rate one is a really good quality, but the frame rate isn't good. Um, but it's very clear. But we're seeing the difference in, you know, really two different height pitches. And if we look at the one where he's he's in his uh, gray top, okay, it looks like the other one's in Oakland. Um, so the gray top one, you know, we're going to see how he's just kind of loaded up on his back leg. In fact, sometimes you see Bryce Harper look like this, you know, with his toe in the air like this and his hands up really high. You can see Otani's top hand here is, is really high. So if we bring him to heel plant, okay, you can see how his hips slide from toe touch to heel plant. That's where most players actually take a step and their foot's in the air. So you don't really notice that slide, but you know, as a, as a hitter, when we step, our hips are essentially sliding. It's just our foot's in the air. So when you bring him to heel plant, okay, he, he creates pretty darn good separation. You can see his hips are starting to open, and he does a really nice job keeping his front shoulder down and in so that his chest is back. If we look at his top hand, it's, it, it's uh, right where it should be, right about the middle of his ear, okay? And then as we go through... One of the things you're going to notice, because he doesn't use his lower half great in this posture, is his head moves kind of up and out of the swing. And the reason I know that is because I do the same thing when I play golf. My head comes up and out, and it's because my posture in my lower half isn't, isn't good enough. And when you see hitters do this, and I see hitters all the time, when their head comes up and out a little bit, you'll tend to, um, you know, Anyway, you, you can see the line. I, I drew the green line. You can see that head pop up, and they'll lose their posture a little bit. And, and in doing so, usually we don't rotate as fast. Now, obviously, when you weigh 240 pounds of solid steel, you know, it's, it doesn't really matter. If I draw this line, this pitch plane line, okay, so we're going to go right through this, and we do this with all of them, right? So let's see where this pitch is going. It's kind of going here. So it is a fastball. I mean, for a left-hand hitter, that's a belt-high fastball right? Like that's four degree fastball for a lefty. That's really tough. But notice again, you know, notice how his barrel gets to that line and it doesn't go underneath. I mean, I don't know. There's not very many lefties that don't get their barrel down here like this and then try to come back up to it. But if you notice him, he's on it from probably here, you know, and, and even back here, you could probably shoot that down the left field line. That's not very common. Now, he does come off maybe a little bit early, but this is a very good swing. And if we look at it, you know, his lower body is, you know, it's it's an up and in pitch. He, he doesn't necessarily rotate around as much, as much as his hips kind of push forward. Okay, like if you look at his glutes, he's pushing his glutes. Instead of going around his body, he's kind of just pushing his left glute forward. And that's why you see him in his follow through. He looks funny. He's very curved. Right, this leg kind of goes like this. Look how far back his head had to go because he's trying to stay behind the ball because his hips aren't rotating around the axis. Now, if we look at this swing on the right hand side, okay, this is the one with the red jersey. Okay, and you see the same thing. Now we get the full rhythm, right? So he's got this load and then he just sticks his foot out. And it's like, okay, what, you know, okay, just go. Now he's going to drift and slide forward. And then he's going to drop his heel. So you can see how much more closed he is on this. This is how he swings probably 75 or 80% of the time. Okay. This heel plant position here on this pitch up and in, that's like the best I've ever seen his front hip open. Okay. This is the same part of the swing. Like to me, this doesn't look like the same player. <laughs> okay. It really doesn't. Like most players do one or the other. I mean, this knee is totally closed. His hip... You know, his belly belly button is still facing back here. His, his belt is still facing back here. Again, I'm not making this up. Like, this is the same position. Here's his heel. Boom. His heel went down here on the left. Here's his heel going down here. Okay. Kind of right between those frames. Okay. So maybe it's a little bit more than that halfway through. But if we look at the next frame, watch his hands go down. So look how his hands go all the way down to his hip. And if I bring the one on the left to a similar position where he's rotating his upper body, that's about the same part of the swing. I mean, this guy's really athletic to be able to do this, okay? I mean, this is, 
you know, I'm trying to get, you know, there's his shoulder line and his shoulders are facing that way. And here's his shoulder, his shoulder line about there. So it's, it's very similar. He's rotated the same amount. You can see how, how much more, it's really weird because his back leg here, he's actually more upright with this leg, meaning it doesn't have as much bend back here, yet his hands are lower. So usually what happens is on a low pitch, players use their legs to get down to it and they keep their hands in relatively the same spot. He's like, nah, I'll just take my hands to it. And if we watch his hands go down, now they're at his belt, okay? If, if we draw this same pitch coming in, you'll see he's not on plane on this one, right? So there's four degrees. Look at where his barrel is. Way down here. And now he's going to come up to that line. So he goes, you know, essentially he swings up from here to here. And he hits that ball in like the most perfect spot. When I see a swing like this on the right, which again is the majority of his swings, it's not the prettiest. That's a guy that has the most unbelievable eye-hand coordination I've probably ever seen. Okay, nobody looks like this on the right, where they flip their wrists over, they they go from way down here to way up here. I, I, I shouldn't say that. Some guys look like this; they have that kind of barrel plane, but they hit like two o five, and they strike out all the time. Like they're not productive. Okay. Then I have this guy over here that's on plane the whole time, right? You know, the the gray jersey, he's on plane on that line, and I'm like. I, I don't get it. I don't know how he can take both of these swings. So what this leads me to believe is this is an uber athletic human being with amazing eye-hand coordination, bat-to-ball skills, and it really doesn't matter what his mechanics are like because his hands and his vision are amazing. He, I guarantee you, well, what, we talked about it, right? He doesn't take batting practice. Does he even hit off a tee? I mean, if this is a guy that doesn't really take batting practice or hit off a tee, he doesn't care about mechanics. He's not working on anything. He's not, oh, I got to stay on top of this. I got to get under this. I got to rotate more. He's like, I'm just going to show up in the game and hit. So that should tell us, you know, what kind of human being he is.